Rahul Srivastava, you've covered many seasons of the parliament. What's really interesting is if you look at the fine print, it seems that the parliament's become insanely productive uh, of late, but the debates are at an all-time low, which prompts me to ask, is it that, you know, the parliament now uh, really not needed, becoming more or less a rubber stamp, understanding the brute majority that uh, the government enjoys and the passage of bills that it has seen, without some of them without any debate, or the fact that the opposition is just not doing its job? No, Preeti, Parliament is needed. Parliament is needed to, to ensure that the salaries of MPs, ministers go up, the president's, vice president's salary can be fixed, the judge's salary can be fixed, the budget can be passed, supplementary grants taken, and a lot of other things. Uh, if you see the number of uh, sittings in terms of uh, total sittings, the sittings have been going down. In uh, the mm -hmm. mid-50s, it was 150 for Lok Sabha sittings in a year and 120-odd for the Rajya Sabha. The amount of discussion uh, which happens in Parliament has been going down. Uh, in terms of short duration discussion, in the 13th uh, Lok Sabha, it was 59 hours. And in the three and a half years of the 17th Lok Sabha, it is six hours. The question hour has been suffering. Only 31% of the quest start questions are replied to. Now, what does that mean? That MPs cannot ask supplementary questions. That is the most critical element of parliamentary functioning is the question hour. Now, you were talking about rubber stamp. Now, I will move one step ahead. Now, today, a lot of noise is being made over the curtailment of the session. But it is a fact that in the business advisory committee, there were MPs from True. all sides of the fence who said that they wanted an early containment. There was consensus, you're Christmas. right. They were, uh, there is Christmas and there is New Year's and they want to be with, the, with their uh, electors. Now, now, in that scenario, the fact is, I will say, uh, to open this debate largely to add an element, is that, that the issue of rubber stamp, the parliament is becoming increasingly a rubber stamp for the government, MPs, in terms of MPs and also the opposition, there are too many destruct buttons now that MPs don't have any say <coughs> as, far, as far as the issue is concerned. It is eventually they are tied to a party line now. The MP as an entity is largely over and that is why parliament is suffering because no member of parliament can go beyond the party line, go with an issue, say for example on the issue of China. Now, on the issue of China, yes, there have been instances right. in the past where party where MPs have stood up and said, let's not discuss it, primarily because this is an issue which will impact uh, the diplomatic relationships and the diplomatic negotiations. But it is also a fact that Parliament has passed resolutions. Say, for example, 14th of November 1992, uh, 1962, when Parliament got together against an aggressor. Those things are getting over largely because the MP no more has a say, be it in the government or be it in the opposition. You know, Rahul, stay with me. I'll, I'll just open up the debate. I'll get in our political panelists and then I'll cut across to Mr. Narayan as well. But, uh, you know, Shahzad Punawala, Parliament has ended a week before with consensus because I think all of you decided that there's Christmas, there's New Year, there's also, uh, you know, a threat of COVID, which we don't know if it's there right now because most epidemi uh, epidemiologists will say no, it's not there. But having said that, the opposition had asked for a debate and it was denied where the what is what went down in Tawang Arunachal was concerned. You know, uh, may I first fact check you on your first statement, Which all is? of us uh, demanding it. On 6th of December, when there was an all-party meeting before mm. the commencement of parliament, it was the Congress party which demanded the curtailing of parliament. I said with consensus, you can't fact check Preeti, me on it. Preeti, but I said it's happened with If this consensus. is a democratic debate, let me have my say, you come in whenever you Okay, feel. go ahead. That's the normal go way ahead, of debating. Go ahead, go ahead. May I continue? Sure. Thank you. On the 6th of December, the parliament had originally been scheduled for 7th to 29th. Hmm. That was the government's view. We had legislative business. The Congress party and the opposition said on 6th of December, curtail it to 23rd because obviously Rahul ji has a foreign vacation. Obviously, it's, un it's been announced and uh, Sonia ji has Christmas uh, to attend as well. So, because of that and some other reasons, uh, others wanted to also participate. Then on 12th of December, it was discussed with Om Billa ji. I have a Hindustan Times report filed by Sobhadra Chatterjee, one of the most credible journalists. He says that Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary, T.R. Balu and 
Trinamool floor leader Sudeep Bandopadhyay and BJD leader Pinaki Mishra urged the government and the speaker to end the ongoing session on 23rd of December. So you know this idea of collating the BJP along with the others, let's let's get that fact right. Then let me also tell you, you, you one so you're second. Saying, you're Preeti, saying that you, the, I'm just asking you a supplementary uh, question. You don't to need it. to paraphrase, I'm it very was, articulate, when but the audience will understand. It's a question, I'm not paraphrasing. Uh, it's a question, it's not paraphrasing. It, it's so, breaking my flow, the but audience it's, can it's see. A, it's, a, it's a question All in right, that regard, please. which is, so you are saying that it was the opposition that wanted uh, the session to end early and not you. Not just me, Jairam Ramesh. Not the government. Not just me, Jairam Ramesh has said it in the street. Let me read to you. Parliament will adjourn Sinai tomorrow, 11.30 am. This was a demand by opposition parties long ago, since there were many, there weren't many bills to be passed. Why didn't you object? Today. You're a brute majority. Why no. didn't you object? And Madam, say you wanted to continue with the parliament. Because parliament that it works on consensus. It doesn't work therefore on brute majority. Only, now, Preeti, therefore, I'll give you Preeti, another it's unfair to your audience if go you ahead. don't give me a full Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Now, le let me come back to the idea of what Rahul ji spoke about parliament being a rubber stamp. Between 1952 to 1970, parliament on an average sat for 121 days per year. Since 2000, both governments and everybody responsible, it's down to 68 per year. 33 bills during the UPS first tenure, 2004 to 2009, were not passed by sending it to the standing committee. It was passed in less than five minutes. What mm. debates were happening then, and by the way, UPA didn't have a brute majority in 2004 to 9, mm. yet parliament in your words and Rahul's words was a rubber stamp. So therefore, the idea is that of course parliamentary democracy should be more robust. And here's my last point. The last point that I'm trying to make is that in August 2021, uh, in fact, in May 2021, Adhiranjan Chaudhary, the leader of opposition, had said, I want a special session on parliament on COVID. We said, fair enough, monsoon session is coming up, let's discuss COVID. When the opportunity came to discuss COVID, they manhandled the marshals, did not allow the monsoon session to take place over an issue of Pegasus, which was in court, by the way, and did not allow any discussion on COVID. This is because they never really want to take people's issues seriously. And therefore, today, Rahul Gandhi and Jairam Ramesh, sorry to say, have not attended a single day in parliament. And they are here to lecture. So as far as the China debate is concerned. Let me just point to you that the Chinese uh, debate aspect uh, in 2013, a short duration discussion was demanded by Dr. Murli Manohar Joshi on the situation in Depsang. By the way, the Chinese had invade, entered into Depsang. No discussion was held. In 2014, Prakash Javadekar asked for a similar discussion. No discussion was held. On 26-11, after 26-11, P. Chidambaram laid a statement. No discussion was held. In the 210th session, 6th March 2007, national attack on MP Sunil Kumar Mato. No discussion. It Only okay. a paper was laid. This is because in 2009 to 2009 on the Sri Lanka situation, this is because there is a rule in Parliament and that rule is Rule 186 Clause 17, which basically says that you cannot refer to any discussion that seeks to disclose information which are matters which so are that's the reason why you nature. denied the discussion. This has not been denied by me. It's okay. been denied, been by, denied the by the Chair of the House okay. and by the Speaker of the Lok Sabha based you're the on past precedent. Of, you're the spokesperson of the government. Now having said that... No, the uh, Speaker is not the government. The Chair is not the government. The chair and the speaker represent legislature. Legislative okay. wing okay, is so different it's, it's from the executive. So, I'm the spokesperson so, okay. of the executive. So the legislative wing is different. All right.